toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play the last play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26 second and nine now and he's got his man out of the backfield that's complete Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Quick, 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 quick. 61. Matchbox lights. Right They'll run it now, out of the gun. Yeah, he's going to be stopped short of a first down as they'll get to him at about the 33. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Returnable for Lockett. Call that a 48-yard punt and made even better by a loss on the return. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Ready, ready. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Ready, ready. They'll run on first down. Johns, and a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll try to left side. Johns, and he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Down. 30 base. Watch the slam. Pilot, 64, weak. Get it. From the gun on third down, Rodriguez. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. First down, Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. We got double up, double up. 90 is a mic. We all nil. Here's Rodriguez on first and 10. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So Set. line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Watch that end, tight end's right. Tight end. Go. Hey, hey, hey. Go, go. Three, three down, three down. 
90s and Mike. <laughs> They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Set, ready? 18 Gator, five, five. You draw Corker. Play on Johnny G. Don't let him breathe, defense. Check the backer, check the backer. Both foes and Mike. Mike, Mike. To throw on third down, Rodriguez. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 48. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. They told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You going to let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. touchdown. Darius Geis, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Ready, break. The Lions Ready, offense ready to kick off their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 the score as they start first and 10. Step. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Christian travel. Check, check. Let's go, D. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a long day. Go. Right back to him on first down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural. Touchdown, Detroit! A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon.
A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. A gain of six there on first. They'll look to throw here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bass. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Back to throw here. And the throw there going to be incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. 12 yards on the return that time, and the Lions will take over. On the, ready. the Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got What's it. Got? They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense up the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And the Bears take over. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a give, right side. Pass. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of a full eight yards. And it sets him back for second down. Ready up, 55, right there in the middle, 55, and let's get hey, it. Hey, Delta. Mike 55, Mike 55, Mike 55. Let's go. Looking to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll look to throw. 
And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They'll set up to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week, it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last <laughs> week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right. It felt like a matter of time, and you've got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Now we're going to get a stoppage. It appears to be an injured bear on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Chopper, chopper! Get it. On first down, Johns. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Hey, 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 we got three in. Rodriguez now looking to throw on second down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Now a give right side. Johns. Oh, and they had him stopped short of the first, but a penalty marker down. And that looked like a clear face mask to me. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now a give right side. Johns. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind. He hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Smith! To throw is Rodriguez. To throw on second down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Let's go now. An incomplete pass on that last 61. play, and that means Match they'll need to come up right. with something here on third down. Yeah. Now Rodriguez from the gun. He'll throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. From the left hash, this from 34. And his kick is indeed good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. 
So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. Down. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. This. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Let's go. 15, Lonnie. 15 right, here we go. Oh. Go. Mike. X3. 218. Jump. On play action, they'll throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Solomon Thomas able to record his fifth sack of the season. He'll drop to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Miles Garrett, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Let's go. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half. 
and they've had ability to see what you've done, they're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show them one thing, hit them with something else. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. <laughs> They'll run it now out of the gun. Thirty-four yards there at a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be Ready? a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now here's a screen play left side. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Ten two saw. Alert three, alert three. Alert two jet bomber, twenty two jet bomber. Now they'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll get this one down to about the twenty seven. Just a one yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first one. This from forty four yards out now, and his kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though. Three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Let's go, baby. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They stay on the ground. Geis again. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They're going to look to throw. The open man is Smith. And they get him down, but not before he Let's takes it across the 40-yard line. Recon, it's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. Hey, Check 31. Ready, ready. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. Just work with me a second here, because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, I feel like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start hitting more targets. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender 
and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Ready. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Ready. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, Touchdowns. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Second and two. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Four yards the pickup. First down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. This quarterback now hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. They'll try the left side. Johns, he is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Time to go. Night, night. 61. Matchbox lights. Hit it. They'll try the left side. Kirkland. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Set, ready? 10 Lobo. 44. Pilot, 64. Weak. On third down, Johns. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. 218, jump. Check four, check four. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Now they need 15 slap, yards slap, on this series slap. after the delay of game. First and 15. On the ball. Forty-four is the mic. Forty-four is the mic. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
They'll keep it on the ground. Johns. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll try to left side. Johns. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Lions on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Ready, ready. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. 55. No, no, no. Off, off, off. Yes, yes. Ready, ready. Now a give right side. Johns. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Set. 60 Pittsburgh. All day, every day, any day. Speed rip, speed rip. Now a give right side. Johns, and he'll get it down here to the 43. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know. Well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. They'll run on first down. Johns, he's got the first down here inside the 30. Touchdown, Detroit! A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Let's go! The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Yannick Ngakwe, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Back to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Topper, topper! Rip left, rip left. Go, Mike. 
On third down, he'll drop to throw. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by David Long. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Looking to throw, Rodriguez. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Come on, well, they're in some hot water now yards. after that sack. It's I'm second and 21. I'm coming after you. 49, check 49. Protein spill. Now a give right side. Johns. Pass the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 31 yards there to first down. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Johns. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And the last run got over. three. Now here's second and seven. Here's a second and seven. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Darius Slayton, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down. Bass, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure, the backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible Go! leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. He'll look to throw. He's got his tight end. It's fouls. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. They get seven there, but it brings up four. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught inside the five. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A big play there. 
with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Bears cut into that lead. The extra point up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. Let's go. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And to be frank, Charles, probably not too many people surprised at how this one turned out. Yeah, I don't think so at all. I mean, they're such a good football team. They were at home. You know, you walked in and you looked at the advantages and you saw that they had most of them. It took a lot to try and even it up. I just thought two words for this ball game: methodical and predictable. And both of them came together. So for the Lions, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half.